Hey everybody. This is cute. Half light, half dark. Um, I just wanted to do a quick little update because <clears throat> um, I made my last video about um, not about anything, just a song that I wrote about 20 years ago um, that included a line about Leonard Cohen. Um, he was one of my huge musical idols, so hearing that he passed was, you know, it affected me. Um, the reason I wanted to do this update is because when I was looking at the timed time stamps, the date stamps, I realized the last video I made was a month ago, and in that video I said I was going to be making more videos soon, and then um, I sprained the crap out of my ankle. So I've basically been mostly in bed for the last month and a half. I'm going to put some pictures of my ankle at the end of this so you guys can see just how severe it was. Um, and then also because I was using medication for about a month, thought I was being careful. I was trying to be careful because I know how terrible opiates are. I mean, don't get me started on the pharmaceutical industry in general, but sometimes for acute injuries, you just need help. And so now I'm taking medication to get off of medication. Oh, the irony. Um, but that and still we still went on a pre-planned trip to Costa Rica even though my ankle was sprained because I had set in motion a plan to swim with dolphins and check that off of my bucket list and we were supposed to go on this really awesome jungle hike where hundreds of species of animals, bugs, and, you know, all sorts of insects and things, insects and bugs, really working smart over here, um, <laughs> birds, lots of birds, I love birds, so the jungle hike got rained out, and the dolphin swim got rained out, we basically stayed, stayed two days in this little cabin with nothing but a shower and a bed and just watched it rain and thunderstorm for two days until we got out of there. It was it was pretty cool. Towards the end of the trip we went to an awesome hot springs resort and so it was definitely worth going. It was my first time out of the country but it was such a huge disappointment. Um, I've already actually <laughs> rescheduled my plan to swim with dolphins. This time I'm going to go to Bemini in May. It's a small island about 50 miles off the coast of Florida. Um, but the reason I'm making this video update is A, to apologize for not being, you know, getting back active on YouTube like I thought I was going to do, but it's really, I've had to take all my energy and put it towards healing. And what has happened since the events of the last month combined with um, the recent election news, I'm sure you guys can guess I'm not a Trump supporter. But I'm not a politics supporter in general at all. I don't believe that that voting, I, I believe voting is pointless. I believe our political system is screwed and that the only way to fix a broken system is to take your energy out of it and that we vote with our dollar. And if we want to see change in the world, we need to you know, say what we'll stand for. However, for those of you who are reeling and feeling 
worried or scared or whatever, all sorts of emotions are going on. People are sort of losing it right now. I think I'm, I, I feel optimistic and I'll explain why. Um, first of all, it was a huge wake, wake up call to realize just how many people there are in America that would vote for a person of the mentality that he has displayed. It's good for us to have this information. Um, kind of like 9-11 woke us up to the fact that America has been stomping all over the planet like a jock who takes whatever they want and just, you know, sucks in general. Our country needs a lot of work, not just the country, our planet, our everyone. And the problem is people are always looking to the external for a fix, and that's never going to change anything. The only thing that is really going to change, or the only thing that you can affect change, is within yourself. And what all of these synchronistic events have reminded me is really like I haven't been doing my creative work as much as I could. I've been more focused on um, home life and making money. And what I realized while I've been sitting here trying to heal for the last month is that um, I was feeling very guilty about not doing my creative work. But that's really stupid because I was working on really just getting everything into place so that I can do my creative work more effectively. And so I've refocused on my music that I need to get out. <clears throat> and also, um, I am have some things in the works, a movie script that I wrote that I'm trying to get into the hands of the right producer. I'll keep you guys posted on that. And in the meantime, this is just basically a short update to let you know, like, I'm not going to be getting back into videos as much as I thought I was. Of course, I will still try to make videos for you and be inspirational, but I'm really working behind the scenes right now, and I'm really positive and optimistic about what I'm doing and about how things are going to fall into place. So I really think that this election is because the universe is smarter than me. I know that for a fact. I think this had to happen for a lot of reasons, and I think that it's going to wake a lot of people up. And I think that's a good thing because so many of us have so much to offer in the continued upliftment of humanity. And if we don't know what we're up against, how can we be effective? So now that we know what we're up against, it's time to do our work and really be motivated. And even if you're not motivated and you're feeling um, unfocused and not sure what to do, just remember that you're always in the right place at the right time. And you know how you won't know? Because you are. And if it was supposed to be different, it would be. And now is all there is. And I will talk to you guys soon when I'm feeling a little better. All right. Stay positive. Take care. Peace out.